Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. This is for my Pisces. So if you're a Pisces sun, moon, or rising, something in this is for you. And as you can see by my background, I'm not in my normal environment again. This might just be my new life where I'm just random places and I don't know when or where I'm going to be. So we'll just make it do what it do, okay? I don't have all my cards with me. So I can't do it how I normally do it or how I plan to do it. I did that for one week and then life was like, JK. I'm personally going through my own lesson of adaptability. But we have the strength card, the five of wands, nine of wands, seven of swords, and the ace of wands in reverse. So what I'm seeing right here is you're staying strong in the midst of danger. I wanted to say something else and they threw danger in my mouth so i guess shit's getting real for you guys and my prayers are with you for sure but i do see that you have the strength that you need to get through this conflict it's just a matter of you believing that you have the strength that you need that's gonna be your title okay i just want to share this with you guys right so as I say, sun, moon, and rising for all of the signs, I often forget that like I'm part of my own collective because I do do my own personal readings like just for me as well. And so it's crazy when I'm doing these videos and something clicks because like I can tell it's somebody else's story, but it's also my story. And it's like, oh man, like some of us are going through very similar things. And especially when I start doing the videos like in a row and not just for the day. So I did Aries earlier and my chart is predominantly Aries and Pisces. And both of those readings go together. So Aries title is honestly, you're still lucky. And then Pisces is believe you have the strength you need. So it's like things are not going well for me personally, but I do understand that it's for my betterment and it's what I need in the grand scheme of things. And I've been really doing my best to pause and count my blessings throughout all of the chaos in my life right now. And so somebody needed to hear that. Like, you're not alone. Things are not going well, but you can get through it. And even when you're giving advice to somebody else, that's often spirit channeling through you, trying to give you what you need too. So like, do your best to take your own advice during this season. Because you do know what you're talking about, just it's easier to tell it to somebody else where you're not emotionally involved. When we're regarding ourselves and emotions are involved, like things just don't seem, they don't feel as clear cut, but they really are just as clear cut. So pay more attention to what you're advising other people because you need that too, just like I also happen to need these two readings. But so then you have the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So there's still some things that you can't see right now and you feel like that's hurting you. The nine of wands is all about like you being almost there. There's just these wands separating you from the promised land, so to speak. And even though you're weary, you've been struggling, you want to be done, like you're almost there and it will be over soon, even if you can't exactly see clearly how it's going to be over soon or when it's going to be done. Just know that your new life is busy taking root. And as soon as those roots are stable, things will settle down for you. What affirmations can I give you guys to help you through? Whatever comes out, write them down. Keep repeating them. I started thinking about the sassy guy spokesman on TikTok. They was trying to get his account made. And he got it back and they were so sorry. <laughs> I am a creator of all things that are good and positive, And I am imperfectly perfect. What's going on around you is not something you can control. But what you can control is how you react to it and what you think about it. It feels like we cannot control our thoughts sometimes. That's because the brain does what it does. Just automatically firing things out. But if you can write down some positive statements, such as these affirmations, and follow up whatever automatic thought you have with your new intentionally curated thought, eventually you will rewire your brain and you'll be able to be more positive easier. 
But that's what I have for you guys today. Um, hopefully this resonated with you. I hope you guys are cool with like my personal stories when that comes out because Spirit is definitely leading me to share more of my life and not just do the readings. Um, so thank you for listening. And if it did resonate, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That helps all of us, me, you, and other people who may need this message. You can book a personal reading with me through the link in the description box. And I also have all of the rituals and all of the oils uploaded. So if you're trying to attract self-love, you need some money, you need protection, you need clarity on a matter, you want people to just be nicer to you in your daily life, like I have something for everybody. So definitely check that out. All right, y'all. Peace.